Hello, Amy. How are you? <laughs> okay, guys. Today I'm out here with my dog, Amy. And today I want to train my primitive survival skills. Yeah? So what I have prepared today is I want to train with the sling and with the bowler. And I want to find out how effective these weapons really are. Stay tuned. Today I have prepared a couple of things for this video. And I had a little bit of... Uh, leftover leather at home so I was cutting out this rectangle here then I made two slits or slots and I went through with some paracord and at the end of the paracord I have one loop and a couple of knots at the other side and basically I'm going to hold the sling like this now and of course you will need a stone for the ammunition so that's the first primitive weapon which is pretty easy to make and if you do not have leather for the pouch, you can always make the pouch from natural materials or you can, you can use your t-shirt or you can use some bark. So there are many ways how you can craft this in a very primitive way. And the next uh, primitive weapon that I have with me today is the bowler. And I basically have cut out a round circle out of some leather that I had lying at home and then I punched a couple of holes into the rim and then I was taking some paracord and today I'm using some red paracord so that you can see better because I want to uh, show how the bowler flies and with a red paracord it's much easier to film and if I was to make this weapon in real life, I would not take the red paracord. I would take some green, brown or other color, which is more, you know, fitting the environment and more camouflage. The bowler is also pretty easy to make. Um, you just need three pockets, basically. And as I said before, if you don't have leather because you are in a survival situation, you can always take your t-shirt or your sock or maybe you find some some plastic which you can use or if you find a dead animal you can cut off the skin and then you have your rawhide and you can make your bowler with the skin of this animal so there are really plenty of ways how you can make these pouches okay so now I'm going to fill the pockets with stones and I don't want to use too heavy ones because then the bowler won't fly far. So I just use three little stones here. Then I close the pocket up like this. And then I make sure to make a good knot here. Like that, three knots maybe. And this is it. So this is the first pocket. Now let's take the second one. Stone is already in here. And the last one goes into the pocket as well. All right, so now we have our three pockets here and I'm just gonna measure the distance. So now we have the same length of string and then I just am making a overhand knot. Pretty simple, but effective and that's it. So the bowler is finished and the sling as well. And now let's take a couple of shots and let's see which of these weapons is the more effective one. All right, so now I have my weapons, but I already have encountered the first problem. Uh, with the swinging motion, you can only shoot in a very open space. And right here, it's pretty bashy. So I believe that I would entangle the bowler probably almost every time. So here, you cannot use the bowler because even if you have a, an animal standing at the backside here, you would never get to it because there are so many shrubs um, in between so probably that's the reason why people have used these weapons um, in the planes and yeah that's the first limitation for the bowler and for the sling it's not such a limitation because you can still hit the target behind the shrub but <laughs> but <laughs> but if you're not lucky you will still hit the bush instead of the animal so both of these weapons are somehow restricted in very shrubby areas. So now I want to go and search for a more open area, okay? Let's leave the camp here. Good girl. 
Good girl. All right, folks, so I have found this really nice spot at the riverside here. And as you can see, this river is full with water now. And that's because of the melting of the snow in the mountains. So it's still winter, but spring is coming. And there was a time like two months ago when this river was dry. So you could walk through to the other side, no problem. Okay, so now I'm going to practice my skills out here because it's really open. And my target is going to be this tree over there. All right, so I'm about seven meters away from the target. Let's see if I can hit the tree with the bowler. And I think this is the easier weapon because it actually opens up and then you have a weapon which is this wide and then you have more chance of hitting the target, right? So actually after every shot you have to detangle the bowler again and that's why I'm only making the bowler with three strings because in some survival books you see the bowler with five strings but actually I've tried that and it's really annoying because five string bowler is getting entangled so much more so I think three strings is enough I hit the tree again but it didn't get entangled yeah okay i hit the tree three times now but it seems to be too thick so it doesn't go around the tree so you know in reality you would hit a deer or something with long legs and not such a big tree and then it would entangle around the legs so maybe let's try to find a different target maybe the shops over there I hit it. Yeah, got it. Finally. So this is how the bowler caught the tree. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty much uh, entangled. Amazing! Look at that! I can't believe how this wrapped around the tree. All right, my friends. So this is the bowler, and I really do like it. I think it's probably the best primitive weapon that you can craft very fast. Of course, I would not trade it for a bow. I would always go for a bow if I could. But this is a very good weapon to entangle a deer or something which has longer legs. I'm not so sure if it's going to work with a tiny hair or pheasant because the legs there are really short so I think this works well with the longer legged animals but even you know when you're seeing a hair uh, I would still go for it because maybe you hit the hair with one of the free stones in the pocket so I think this is a great weapon this is really good and very often I had situations when I was coming so close to a deer like five meters two times a deer jumped almost into me so uh, with a bowler at my side i would have gotten a good chance of getting that deer for sure all right my friends so now i want to try the sling and the sling is definitely the more difficult weapon to use so i just place a stone in the pocket like this and yeah this one loop i just put over my finger and then I hold the knot at the other side. And actually I've made the string a little bit shorter because I've heard that it's easier to use when the string is not so long. And I'm going to shoot at the tree stump over there. This one. This one. Yeah, that's the target. <laughs> Too high. That was really close. Yeah! Left. 
I really have to get used to it. It's it's hard. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. Yeah, the sling needs a lot of practice. Ah, that was close. Ah, close. Nice. Yes! That was a solid hit. Yeah! Awesome. Yeah! <laughs> I'm getting better. Nice. Oh, missed. Yeah! Yeah! That was my best shot, right? That's my last zone. Let's see. Oh. Okay, so this was the sling. And I gotta say, you need a lot of stones to practice with it. And it's super hard to use. It's really hard. But it's a fun weapon. And you can just put it into your pack. It doesn't weigh much. And when you're bored in the wilderness, you can train your survival skills. Sling shooting, <laughs> fun. All right, my friends, so which is better, the bowler or the sling? Honestly, I gotta say, I think that the bowler is much easier to use. Um, it's just that it opens up and you have a bigger area where you can hit your target, right? So in a survival situation, Amy, <laughs> what are you doing? In a survival situation, I would definitely build a bowler before I build a sling. Uh, don't get me wrong, the sling is great too and it's super easy to make but it's so hard to use and the question is do you want to train with such a primitive weapon uh, because you would have to put so much time into practicing this sling shooting so that's the big question I think that it's much easier to use the bowler and you also have to practice with the bowler of course but I think you will get better much faster and yeah so i would tend to use a bowler but maybe the sling is better for smaller animals so i cannot really say which is the better weapon because they are just for different kind of animals i think that the sling is more for smaller game like hare rabbits or something and it would definitely stun or even uh, bring down the animal in an instant and the bola is more for entanglement and um, After the deer cannot move anymore you then have to um, Yeah, put it down so I can imagine that the Stone Age people back in the day They probably have practiced every day with it and then they have gotten really good with it I don't want to take so much time for practicing these weapons because I rather Want to practice my archery skills because that's my favorite weapon and if i had the time in a survival situation i would definitely go for carving a bow maybe okay we go home now okay <laughs> my baby my baby we go okay it's okay this was the second episode of my primitive weapon series if you haven't seen the first episode where i have shot the most primitive weapons of all times which is the stick and the stone then make sure that you check out the video link in the description below thank you for watching and stay tuned until next time <laughs>